Hello, my name is David Schumberger, and this is my instructor checkoff for IV Bolus Administration. Um, in regards, because I haven't been able to go to the lab this summer due to um, COVID as well as having a very busy schedule, um, this is kind of my at-home creation of a IV arm. Um, so getting back to the skill, first thing that I'm going to do is gather up all my materials. So making sure that I have my alcohol swabs, my IV medication, as well as my sharps container. Um, once I have all my materials gathered up, I will explain my procedure to my patient. So I'm going to let them know that we are going to be giving an IV medication through their, or going to be giving a medication through their IV. I'm gonna ask them if that is okay. I'm also gonna ask if they have any known allergies. And then I'm gonna start going through my five rights uh, oh, and also if I'm in a hospital setting, I'm going to make sure uh, to check that I have the proper medication order. Now that I've gone through all of that, I'm going to go through the five rights of my medication. So I'm going to ask them if they can tell me their name and their date of birth. I'm going to check that this is the correct medication, that I'm giving it at the right route, so through their IV, if I can do that. I'm also going to check the dosage, and then I'm going to be giving this at the right time. I'm going to check the clarity of it and the expiration date. After I've done all that, I'm going to set up my syringe. So I'm going to make sure that all of my air bubbles are out of it. Okay. After that, I am going to put proper PPE on. And then going to come over to my patient, turn off the flow rate on their IV, remove the IV tubing. Then I'm going to take my alcohol swab and I would either clean the Y port or my hub. Since I don't have a Y port, I'm going to clean my hub. I will then grab my medication and I will slowly inject my medication unless my medication dictates otherwise. I'll remove my syringe, immediately put it in the sharps container, reattach my IV tubing, replace it at TKO rate and monitor the flow rate, and then I'm going to monitor my patient for any undesired side effects, adverse reactions, and then also if uh, they are going through a therapeutic reaction. Thank you.